Guys, we're going to talk about seeing injuries as great opportunities to get better. Bit of a long-winded title, but uh, it's a great concept. Um, I've had whiplash and I've had injuries on a football pitch, which are more collision type of injuries where you can't do anything about it. You know what? The car's going to get hit, uh, something's happened, you've rolled on your ankle on a football pitch, that's another one that happened to me. And you, in those times, you actually have to learn with the whiplash, for example, I'm always addressing how to uh, uh, get back into a place of balance and realign the body. So it's not that it will ever go. There's certain injuries that you just handle, you manage and you rebalance and you create a structure workout that helps you with that. So if it's lower back pain, neck problems, whatever it is. Uh, there's other injuries. I had another one, for example, on the ankle playing football but that wasn't a proper injury. Um, my Olympic lifting coach at the time called me a pussy and he got me to actually jump on that foot, which in hindsight was really smart because it was about activating the glutes um, to see if there was a serious injury and no, it wasn't. So sometimes you also overindulge in the injury. It could be a micro tear and it's not that big a deal, but it, it, obviously it hurts and it's foreign to you, so you're not used to it. There's another type of injury and that's the ego injury. And I'm also guilty of this one. I was training with another guy. Um, we were doing hex bar trap deadlifts and he's stronger at the whole deadlift um, type of motion. Uh, I'm more of a squat bench press kind of guy, so that's my justification. But um, yeah, so basically I, my ego took over and what I wanted to do is lift that weight and I took my hip out of place which gave it a lot of pain. So I learned from that lesson not to push too much into something, to tune into your body. You can go for a weight that you can't even lift and still not injure yourself as long as you keep in line of motion of your body keep it with integrity, you won't injure yourself. So injury teaches you A, how to handle pain, B, it teaches you how not to injure yourself in the future, and C, it gets you to rebalance any imbalances in your body so that you actually get stronger. So let's say you tear your hamstring or something, uh, you did a sprint, you didn't warm up, you tore your hamstring. What you wanna do is you wanna work on knowing how to warm your body up properly, to get to the point where you sprint properly without injury, how to loosen up your hamstrings and how to develop the hamstrings so they're in balance with, let's say, your quads or other body parts.